We were stopping in the islands in the area of Bahia de Los Angeles and making our way up north to San Felipe. The best part about showing up in a new place every day or every couple of days is jumping into the water and seeing what treasures this particular area has in store. You can never really predict what the marine environment will look like. We thought this place would be much more clear, but the strongish winds from the past couple days kicked up a lot of murk. I remember the first time I saw one of these fluffy looking soft corals. I was blown away by the otherworldliness and pleasant appearance. Even though these fan worms were filmed at about 120 frames per second, slowing down the footage still didn't manage to completely capture their quick movement. We observed the resident yellow grouper brazenly cruising the reef, and looking closely on the shallow water rocks, we found some cute little anemones. The next day, Robbie's ear was starting to feel a little odd. We checked out Isla Coronado's volcano briefly, but we didn't go into the water, concerned about Robbie's increasingly painful ear. The landscape looked Martian as we made our way beyond the usual route of cruisers in the Sea of Cortez. The area was windswept, and the wind was suddenly constant from the north for about three days. We were pretty unhappy, dealing now with a mysterious ear infection, and also waiting for the winds to turn back in our favor. When the winds finally became light and southerly again, we traveled past the northern tip of Isla Angel de la Gualda. It was a barren landscape on the Baja shoreline all the way up. There were beautiful sunset colors, and the water was calm in the evening. But a bumpy, choppy sea kept us awake all night. The sea was relatively shallow here, 30 meters all around us, and it was milky arriving in San Felipe. The quiet little fishing harbor welcomed Robbie with some hot tamales. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I saw you. An array of sunken sailing and fishing boats in the far anchoring corner was disconcerting. We decided at the last moment that we would have to keep the boat on the dock while we traveled up to the States. San Felipe is a mixture of restaurants, fine-grained sand, and dilapidated structures. We did some walking along the main highway, back and forth from the harbor. Sometimes we got a lift, for random short lengths of the excursion. At the marina dock, we examined a neighboring boat that looked to have been there for some time, and considered what we would have to do in order to leave Rosa safe here for an extended period of time. First thing was to figure out why the toilet was not flushing properly. Luckily, it was a clean and easy fix. Just a piece of barnacle that was lodged, basically here, stopping this from. Oh, and that opens and lets water in. Yeah, this opens and closes. So when you close this, this closes. Keeps it open. 
Our dock neighbors recognized Rosa at anchor, and they also had a Gosun stove that they wanted to test out. We each made some chow in our respective solar tubes and enjoyed a dinner together aboard SV Bertie. Thank you, Heidi, for for having us over so in, in your beautiful womb vessel. <laughs> I'm okay for now. It was time to get serious. We removed the sails and bulky items from the deck again. We readied the lines as best as we could, closed all the valves, and emptied our flexible water tanks. Our good friend Jean came to visit us here in San Felipe. Yeah, the day we leave, I finally get the piña colada that I was dreaming of. And whisked us away to California. We hadn't been driving in a vehicle for months, traveling any real distance. The landscape zoomed by, and it felt odd to be leaving the ocean behind. So much fun. Second day inspection, US border. With a good soundtrack. With, the, with some karaoke guy who sounds half drunk in the sun. They're celebrating something. The journey was also the beginning of a long tour of many friendly people's boats who invited us to sail or stay aboard while we traveled north. Ooh! Goodie. Goodie bag, this is like Christmas. This is belated Christmas. I hear there's something interesting in here. What are some of the things that we found in the bag? We found an excellent second GoPro 5. I have to be honest, it means that we can dive and be less scared or send the GoPro into places and be less worried about losing the camera. I'm still going to be worried about losing the camera, but we have a second chance. <laughs> also in the goodie bag, we have two solid state drives, 500 gigabytes. You have no idea how useful this is when you're making movies. Thank you to our viewer, Sean, who sent us to, uh, these goodies in the goodie bags. We're really going to enjoy the new GoPro and we're going to be able to uh, fit a lot of that new footage onto these new solid state drives. It's like Christmas from Matt from GoSun. We got uh, a weird new, it looks like it's been 3D printed, uh, a device for the end of our uh, GoSun stone, stove. We'll see how it helps uh, the GoSun from um, sliding open in the wavy seas. We of course found ourselves in Richardson Bay, in the San Francisco area, helping Francis prepare his boat to travel south. I sanded the mizzen mast slot in order to insert a new sail sliding system. And we sailed with our friend Tom aboard his beautiful swan sailboat, a favorite of ours to crew. Today was a fleet week day, meaning that boats were flying on the water just below aircraft that were flying low in the sky.
We dropped the main to drift just below the air show, and we were not disappointed. All us boats made an orderly line in front of the no float zone. But I couldn't figure out just how that spot was any more risky to float under than where we were. Just as we were raising the sails to move back along to the marina, the pilots of the show decided to make an unnerving finale with a couple of low flybys with a passenger jet. It was good to be back aboard, floating on San Francisco Bay, for now. If you haven't already, please subscribe to see upcoming videos. You can take part in the making of these videos by supporting us through Patreon or through PayPal. Thank you to all our current supporters.